y'all. I'm at my post office visit. I just got here. I had to get undressed from the waist down. I'm just waiting on the doctor to come in. I'm not even wallpaper. Let me show y'all. Ain't that cute? Yeah, so um, I'll talk to y'all once I get in the car. My um, follow-up for my um, my follow-up for my hysterectomy. Girl, look at my head. I had to put in a ponytail. Y'all know the last vlog. I end up having to put in a ponytail because I didn't feel like doing my hair. But I'm going to do it because I'm going to put that protein treatment in there. Yeah, need it. I really do need a trim, but I'll be back. I don't like wearing my hair up like that, because you know my head be... Okay. All right, now I am in Target. This is the cutest summer pajama set. They have the, um, they have the robe, which is cute too. Let me see how much these pajamas are. I don't really need any pajamas, but they are super cute. The robe is medium large. It's $29. That's not bad. 30 bucks. It's really cute. I'm going to think about it. It's really cute. You know, when stuff catches my eyes, like I should just get it. Get it. Okay, let me go see if I can find some grapes. I'll be back. Why oh, I ain't tell y'all about my doctor's appointment. It went well. Yes. Okay, I'll be back. I'll talk to y'all about that in the car. My curls are back. They're popping. I have a Apogee moisturizing conditioner on my hair. Along with the Amica, I think it's called the Color. Hold on. This is the Color Lock Conditioner. So what I did was I shampooed my hair with the Amica. First, I shampooed my hair with the Q-Dad. I think it's called Q-Dad. Waterworks Clarifying Shampoo. To get all the product out. I love the smell. Then I went in with the Amica Bolt to shampoo. And I did this like two times. And it got my hair really, really clean. I used that apogee protein pack it's not this one because this is the moisturizer because the apogee protein pack is upstairs in the garbage but i put it in a spray bottle and i just sprayed sections sat under the dryer and it brought my hair to life because if you've seen my hair before this it looked crazy um i didn't wash my hair i just i didn't wash my hair i just rinsed it out and i placed the apogee balancing moisturizer and it just brought it back to life I also used the um, Bolt Color Lock Conditioner. And I got this from TJ Maxx, but it's actually more because this was like $16. I love the smell. It smells really good. Um, I love everything about this, really. Now, I couldn't remember the other shampoo that I was using. I was using Joyco and wondering why my hair felt so dry, but it just made my hair really, really dry. So I stopped using that. And that's why I went for another um, shampoo and conditioner so hopefully this works well um now i'm on the hunt for a good thermal heat protecting spray so yeah um yep these are my curls i'm gonna sit under the dryer for a minute and then i'll blow dry i wouldn't i would have sat under here with a plastic bag but i'm not gonna be under here long Okay, I decided to put a plastic bag over my head instead. Just to put that moisture back in there. And um, I'll be back once I style it. I need to hurry up. I gotta go to Bible study. Okay, now I'm in the bathroom and I'm going to blow dry my hair. My curls are still intact. My hair is soft, it's not hard and rough. So yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to blow dry my hair. But I am gonna spray 
just a little bit of this red pen in there. And it's a extreme anti-snap. But we'll see. I'll be back. Hey beauties, welcome back. Okay, so I'm back. I washed my hair um, earlier today. I just went to Noonday Bible study. And I'm back at home. I didn't put on any makeup or anything. I just wanted to go, you know, there. But this is how my hair turned out with that um, protein treatment from Apple G. Really nice. Still has body. Um, I just flat ironed it with my flat irons from, I think it's the T3. These right here. This is what I use. And um, so far I'm liking the results. Um, love the Amica. I like the Amica Volt Color Lock Shampoo. This right here. It kept my color looking vibrant. As well as the conditioner. And I picked these up at TJ Maxx. They were $16.99. But if you go on like Sephora or maybe Ulta, it's a little bit more. Yes. And before I went in with the shampoo, like I told you guys earlier, I used this. I think it's called Udad. And it was on clearance at Sally's and it's for all curl types. It's a clarifying shampoo and it just gets all the gunk out your scalp. So yes, I'm definitely liking that. This is what I wore to church. Just a plain jogger, um, what is it, hoodie and some jeans. These are some jeans I got from Zara. I want to say about, are they Zara? I believe, yeah, Zara jeans. I got these probably, I want to say last summer. yeah and I seen them in the closet so yeah girl I like them so I wore them and then I finally washed my Stanley cup and use it I want to put on some makeup oh let me show y'all I got a little haul do I have a little haul what did I show y'all last time I showed y'all the hairspray I think I told y'all this. Girl, I can't be remembering. I got so much on my plate, but not bad. But I told, I showed y'all the Mark Rockin' oil, right? The hair mist. Because, you know, sometimes when I fly iron my hair, like, fresh, sometimes it smells a little, like, burnt. So, put a little bit of that. Make it smell a little bit better. Yeah. And what else did I get? Yeah, I did show y'all this. Because I told y'all that I got the the Fenty. I'm waiting on the lip gloss. I think it comes today. That lip gloss that I ordered. And... Uh, what else did I get? Oh, I did go to Ulta. I picked up the Kylie Jenner. This is, I had this for about a week now. The Velvet Liquid Lipstick. I forgot to show y'all this. But this is a set. Let me show y'all. The set is called Say No More. And it's supposed to be like a velvet color. Maybe I'll try it on when I do my, um, my makeup look. But this is it right here. Just a really pretty... Um, fuchsia pink barbie pink it's just pretty so i'm going to use that on today i picked up some more of the ordinary this is the glycolic acid seven percent toning solution i picked up another one of these i have one already i have one already but as you can see on the side it's down to here and i use it for everything so um i ended up getting another one I'm looking for a good um I'm looking for a good eye cream. I was using this one by Kiehl's. It's a creamy eye treatment, but it's a little bit too greasy for my liking. So, I need something that kind of like depuffs, make the dark circles look a little bit more lighter and yeah, all that good stuff. I got another airbrush flawless setting spray 
it looks like this right here this is like one of the best setting sprays it just like ties everything in so i got another one of those i'm looking for another moisturizer i'm not really too happy with the cerave facial moisturizing lotion i want something else and i've been using a sample of the pharmacy the halo i use this on today it's the honey halo the ultra hydrating ceramide moisturizer i've been using samples of these they're okay but i don't know maybe i should just go back to my tatcha so i'm going to use this on tomorrow and see um if i like it or not and i have another one i have one from uh drunken elephant so i'm going to try this one as well i'm going to try this one tomorrow or should I try it today? No. I'll try it tomorrow. See how I like it. And if I don't, I'll just go back to my Tatcha. The last thing that I picked up from Alta is this cute little um, setting sponge. It's a five function in one. It's I Am Magic. It is from the Juvia's Place line. And girl, that is about it. if I can scan my receipt if it's too late I know I bought I bought this like a while ago let's see I think they give you like 14 days let's see if it's okay I got my little points girl hey this Kylie lip what girl this Kylie lip was $35 really for some lip gloss what the glycolic was 10 the the um sponge was 11 and the spray was 36 girl it better look cute okay i showed you the earrings that i bought when i went to um did i show y'all i went to um where did i go nordstrom nordstrom rack and i picked up some savvy c these are the the earrings I wore them already it's like a rose let's see if it'll yeah it's like a rose with rhinestones it's cute I wore those already and then I picked up some gold hoops because I don't have many gold hoops but I thought these were cute too and these are lead and nickel free and they're sterling forever 14 gold plate 14 karat gold plated they don't supposed to turn so yeah so that is all that i picked up and back to target i did go to target let me scan my receipt and i did get that um i did get this robe it's so pretty so nice and colorful i got the medium large my sweater's kind of thick so it might not look right all right beauty so i just want to show you the um pajama set that i found at target earlier on today well not today but yesterday and it's a cute little i call it a duster but it's not it's a robe and you have the the shorts and the top I got them in a medium but the duster I got it in a large I wish they just had a medium but it still fits it still looks good and I paired it with my cute little um, rhinestone slippers I got from I think it's Art and B if I'm not mistaken I think that's the name of the store but it's a cute robe guys I love it and it comes with pockets oh you have a robe with pockets but it's so cute for the summer love it so run to your target and pick it up they also have it if you don't like shorts you just want to like a cute little short um it's like the the dress it's real cute but it's a nice little piece you know so you can be looking nice cute sexy at home but this is it all right it was 29.99 and this is a medium large and i got the sh and I also picked up the shorts to go with it. This is the front. The shorts 
and and this is basically what I wear like around the house and here is the cute little top I'm gonna do a little bit to my face cuz I'm looking a little hold on let's put on a little makeup cuz I don't gonna go in with some we're gonna go in with the elf primer I just take like one little dab I just want a basic look I don't want to do too much today is the day I usually go get my nails done I'm not going today I'm just here at home washing all my clothes and um, I don't know, just filming a video for y'all. So let's do my brows. This is a pencil from Awesome and it's called the Sculpting Brow Pencil. And I get it in the shade Brunette. And it has a spoolie on one side and a pencil on the other. And I just fill in the little areas. And the e.l.f. is called the Power Grip Primer. And it's just a really nice base to get your face ready for your makeup. I usually like the one size. This is pretty okay, but it's kind of heavy, so. I'm going to then I'll add a little bit of this J.Lo. Now I'm going to take cookie and I'm just going to carve out my brows really quick for you and we're going to come back and I'm going to do my eyes. Amir, close your door. I'm filming. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Pre Louise. This is a base and it is in the shade number five, Rumor. Just place it on my eyelid. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this Natasha Denona. It's not my favorite palette, but I'm gonna use it. It's the Retro Palette and i've been using this shade right here it's like a it's like a light pink And sometimes this color kind of disappears so you really got to use a good primer so it can stay I'm still full from church when I had went to prayer we had um not prayer when we went to um when I went to it was Bible study but like every fourth Tuesday we have let's talk i think it's called let's talk about it girl don't give me the line but um they had food and i had chicken and fries girl and i'm still full from that and i'm gonna go in with this pretty plum color and i take a little bit of this so i go in with groove and rebellion 
and I just take it on a fluffy dense brush you know I ain't no makeup artist but I take it and I just go on the outer and place it like so that's how I do my makeup girl I think I got my uh, makeup done like maybe three or four times professionally done. I know one was for a long time ago when my beautician put me in Black Passion magazine. Girl, I hated that makeup. <laughs> I hated that makeup, but shoot. I hated the, I hated all of it. I hated the makeup, but like my mother, she always show people this picture of me when I had like short hair. I hated it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call her and see. Hold on. I'm gonna tell her to send me that picture so I can show y'all. Cause I'm gonna text her. Okay. And the next thing that I go in to do is I put like a brown. So I go in with Bobbi Brown in the crease. Just do like so and I know I'm probably didn't go in the right order or whatever the case may be but this is how I do my makeup to make me happy the second time I got my uh let me see the second time I got my hair done my hair done the other times was like when I went to Mac and I would get my um makeup done I think I went to Oak Brook one time she was trying to teach me how I want to learn how to do my makeup so bad. And I just started buying stuff, looking at YouTube. So I usually, that was it. I've been using this Yummy Skin. I like the um, Yummy Skin, it's pretty, pretty neat. But um, I wanna use the stuff that I have. So I'm gonna go in with the Pat McGrath. This is the Skin Fetish Foundation. And I am in the shade Medium Deep 23. Two pumps on my hand. Like that. And I'm going to place it. Like that. Okay, now I have butterscotch from Too Faced. It's the Born the Way, Born This Way. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna go on with this sponge from Juvia. It's cute. It's like pink on one side and a, like a highlighter yellow on the outer. I dampened it a little bit. I'm looking in my mirror. It's okay, it's not like my favorite sponge, but I don't know, it's a little. A little bit of Fenty. Okay, I got the Fenty and this is in Truffle. So I'm just gonna use this brush. This is a Sephora angle brush. I'm gonna
Now I'm going to use this Magenta Magic. I got from, I think I got from Ulta. It's by the brand new sticks. It's like a pink. Oh God, I forgot. I didn't set my, my um under eye girl. You can tell I'll be doing it. I'll be just putting a little bit of on. I put a little bit of makeup on just to get me through the day when I go to work. that I'm using is from one size and it's that pink ultra pink this powder will be making my um nose itch I'm just gonna brush this off and I'm gonna set my face with this powder from Morphe it is called Filter effect, filter number seven. It's almost finished. Okay. And what else? And my highlighter, Abiza from NARS. Okay, let me spray some of this airbrush. I'm gonna put some lashes on. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Kiss Vegan Mink Lashes on today. Okay, beauties, your girl is back. I'm gonna put some. This is the Falsies Surreal Lashes Mascara. Put that on the end. I know some people they go to town with makeup, but I always like to look like I'm put together, but not doing too much. You know, you can go under the eye with some makeup and some... Girl, sometimes I don't even use a liner. So this is the Marc Jacobs. I'm gonna put... Warm it up a little bit on my hand. Cause I don't use it that much. And I'm gonna put it on my waterline. I have the e.l.f. This is like a lip balm. I kind of like to moisturize my lips. Get get them ready for this Kylie Jenner to see if it's worth it, girl, because that's a lot of money. I ain't know it cost that much. I wasn't looking at the total. I promise you I wasn't. So I'm going to spray my brush. Give me a little inner corner highlight. So we're gonna go in. A little inner corner. My um my under eyes are looking a little dark. Oh, 
Okie dokie. So let's try this lippy. This is a lip pencil from Kylie. And I guess it's pink. I don't know about this um I don't know, I need a little darker color. And this is the pink. I think I got something like this already. I'll be repeat myself. Let's see if it's like the um it's happening by Too Faced. No. This is a little bit lighter. Yeah, it's happening it has more of a reddish undertone. This one is lighter. Let's see. I'm not gonna lie to you, it is definitely not worth $35. I'm gonna go in a little bit. Ooh. It's pretty. I like it. Okay, guys. So this is All right, guys. So this is the look with the pink lip velvet but I like it to be a little bit more on the matte side I guess I guess it's okay because it's not as drying but this is my look of today I just wanted to give you guys something um because I don't do makeup as much girl but the lip is cute I guess I'll keep it <laughs> I guess I'll keep it but yeah this is my um this is my look all right girls so this is it this is the end of this video i thank you all for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe to your girl's channel and i will see you in the next video until then have a blessed one bye all right so um i took one lash off y'all <laughs> get it on the couch because one of my hey y'all so i was just sitting on the couch and i was uploading this here vlog and i realized i didn't even share with you all my post-op um doctor's visit that i had so the first one i had is just to be clear so that i can go back to work but then i had another one he was going on vacation so i didn't mind waiting so uh he went on vacation and then so i scheduled it so the day that he came back from vacation uh, i was able to be cleared for everything exercise sex all that good stuff yes um I'm just going to be really quick, brief, if you want more information on the kind of surgery I had going over to uh, maybe about four or five vlogs before this one. I had a hysterectomy surgery. Alright, so um, I took one lash off, y'all. <laughs> Get it on the couch because one of my lashes came off. I do not regret it at all. This is the best decision that I've made. I get, I want to say I get probably about two or three messages a day of a woman that is about to have the surgery or someone that wants to have the surgery but they're fearful they're scared and i know i know the enemy wants you to be fearful but don't be fearful but i just wanted to update you guys that yeah i'm clear to uh do things as normal lip bags groceries uh sex um what else uh, exercise just 
just my day-to-day -day activities that I um, normally do I'm able to do and I have no restrictions so that was a plus and um, I'm just I'm just excited for one because I don't have to have a menstrual girl I looked at my phone and the app was like uh, wait I'm gonna show y'all this little app this is tripped out so I had downloaded the menstrual app or the, as you call as you all call it the period app and and so I downloaded it I always had this app and it just lets you know when you're about to come on and everything so sometimes when I'm feeling a little like if I'm eating sweets too much or um, I feel a certain way I just look at the app and I'm like yeah I'm about to come on my, my menstrual but I am so thankful because I have not had a menstrual since January 16th girl to God be the glory and I don't have to worry about it my friend was talking about um well my church is having a all-white party I'm sorry let me take that back my church is having an all-white cruise this year again for the second time the other time that they we had it I showed you guys that it was really fun um I was on my menstrual then <laughs> wait, wait 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 I was on my menstrual then and I was just so like oh my god I hate wearing all white because you know when you're kind of like when you have your menstrual it's just like you just don't want to be a white girl you just if you really want to be all black at home probably under the bed somewhere just laid up so um so yeah girl so yeah you just want to be laid up so looking at this app i'm like i haven't had a menstrual since january 16th and me and my friend was talking about she's like i don't want to wear white now mind you she had a hysterectomy too but i think hers was maybe about three or four years before mine and I'm like, girl, you better rock that white shoe. We can wear white now with no problems, girl. You don't have no issues. And she was like, you know what? You're right. You got a point. Girl, we're going to rock that white. So I'm still um, undecided if I'm going to go to the um, all white. I want to go, but I got to see if it um, is around my... I want to see if I'm off around that time. But back to the um, post op. Like I told you, it went well um that they give you a um a normal you know exam it was so quick just like that as soon as he rose me up on that bed he lowered it down i'm like that was it he was like yeah you good and i was like okay so i'm excited as you can hear in my voice but i wanted to just let me take this other lash off girl oh it's hard i can't take it off i had to take that other lash off because i'm looking kind of crazy but yeah um i can just kind of like delete this little app i don't have no menstrual cramps girl no heavy bleeding bleeding twice a month girl all of that bloatedness you can keep that so, yeah girl i don't even want to look back i don't want to be like lots wife i want to keep going forward so yeah i just want to update you on that because i'm like wait a minute i ain't even tell them what how the appointment went and I'm, i'll be all over the place with these but it's all good i'm just going to try to give you everything that i can and with that being said i hope i um answer some of y'all questions if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section if it's too personal you can always message me i always end up um responding back with no problem and for those of y'all who are headed to have your surgery because i had a couple of women that reached out to me and told me that they their surgery is coming up i just want to wish you well and i pray that it will be successful and that you will have a speedy recovery in jesus name and whatever you are going through right now trust me this too shall pass it gets better and girl you can just you you will be free you will feel free and the best is yet to come that's all i can say so i'm gonna get off of here because i know i'm talking too much i need to edit this video because i have two videos i have to edit it's my off day i'm trying to hurry up um i got over the best part yep i'm sitting here i'm eating on my twistlers adding it for you guys so i hope you all enjoyed this here vlog so let's go back to uh the vlog